afternoon. Welcome back to uh, an absolutely stunning Chiron here in the southwest of France. It has just been the most amazing day today. Oh, it's, I just have to pinch myself sometimes. I get messages sometimes. Um, ask me about buying a house. <clears throat> Excuse me, buying a house in France. Just what are you waiting for? <laughs> I mean, like, what? Seriously, the world's going down the toilet. How much time do you think you've got to um, go and buy somewhere in another country? Go and, uh, yeah, just go and book a ticket, get on a plane, come to France, have a look around and buy something. Um, I don't think you'll regret it. Um, and yeah, someone did ask me, is it different now, um, now that Brexit's happened? I don't think there's any rules have changed um, to buying property. The rules have changed to live, for living in another country uh, in the EU, but um, just no, write a check <laughs> and buy a house. <laughs> it's, I think it's kind of that simple. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, before we get into the video, I've got to say sorry for last night's video. I don't know what happened. Um, I'm new to this. I've only done this 510 times or something. And uh, yeah, I did something wrong uh, uploading the video or editing the video and the volume was so low. Um, and I had actually checked it out before I uploaded it. That's how rubbish I am. So uh, yeah, I re-uploaded it. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, everyone got to see it. I'll say everyone. I've, uh, I've been looking at my subscriber numbers going up and they're going up like 200 a month, which compared to some is not many, but 200 a month is quite a lot. But my views don't go up on my videos by 200. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think um, a year ago, I was getting the same number of views on some of my videos <laughs> that I get now. So I've no idea how YouTube works. Anyway, what was I gonna talk about? Yeah, so the day got off to a great start. Every, uh, every at the beginning of every video, I show you a picture of the tree that's at the bottom of my garden because it's like the god it's like the king or queen of the garden and it overlooks the garden and I just think it's majestic and I think it's quite a good way to start the uh, start the vlog and um, so this morning I thought right yeah go out take some uh, take some video and then I'll have that shot put it on the laptop and uh, happy day sorted and uh, could I find my camera? <laughs> no, I was looking around and I couldn't find my tripod. I was like, what is going on? What have I done with it? And I'm thinking, have you left it outside? Maybe it's been nicked. I, was like, I left it out the garden. Have I? Someone stolen it. No, what's going on? So I was going mad and um, I had left it out of the garden. <laughs> I'd left it out of the garden all night. I, um, how I get my little bits of uh, video of Davide, the little owl, flying in and out of my garden and sitting in the barn uh, uh, at the end of the garden, <laughs> I tend to set the camera up, press record, and it'll record for 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, I did that last night. I think the sun's gonna get in our eyes. Um, I did that last night, and then sort of had my dinner, <laughs> had a shower, went to bed. And so this morning, the uh, camera, yeah, looked a little bit on the wet side. So uh, it did work. I think I'm talking, I've got two cameras that I use. Uh, I think I'm talking to you on it now. So uh, yeah, I'm glad it still works, but that was a bit of a dumb thing to do, wasn't it? How to how to lose a camera. I did lose a camera last year, didn't I, for being a bit careless. And that was an expensive one. And I was devastated when I broke that. Hence, I'm using 45 euro cameras now, uh, rather than 200 pound uh, Canon cameras. So uh, I came out earlier and uh, I had an idea to um, make Dave's life a little bit more interesting.
uh, well, Dave's got a Dave's got a better view now, haven't you, fella? You like looking out, don't you? Yeah, I think um, I think the scorching hot 90 degree weather is um, over now. So uh, I thought I would uh, open up his shelter a bit, let some air in. Um, although as far as I know, there's a hurricane due, isn't there, in the UK? I don't know if we're going to get it here, but there's quite a bit of rain around tomorrow, I think, and maybe on Friday. But um, yeah, I think he's quite. Um, I think he's quite pleased with the uh, the changes that I've made. Say hello fella, got an apple in my pocket, would you like it? So it has been such a lovely day today, 26 degrees I think. Uh, yeah, as I say, it's going to be a bit cooler tomorrow, so uh, I was kind of making the most of being outside. Um, yeah, got a few bits and pieces done, you know, took the opportunity to uh, wash the quilt. How often do you wash your quilt? Um, yeah, always worried about putting it uh, on too fast a spin in the washing machine and ruining it. I've done that loads of times. Um, but yeah, no, it looks nice and clean and it smells lovely and fresh. Um, so I've got, a, uh, I've got a question about um, sorting out a watering system in the garden or collecting rainwater so yeah had a bit of a downpour the other day <laughs> just just a bit and uh, it's been mentioned before actually collecting rainwater and I did actually make a video about it and I suppose I guess that video kind of needs updating now doesn't it um, but I'll put a link to it at the top of the screen and a link in the description yeah check it out it was only like two or three minute video I made well I must have made it over a year ago um, yeah just talking about my water situation um yeah check it out have a look and uh, it's definitely something i'm going to need to um need to investigate and if i'm actually going to have a garden channel uh here on um here on youtube then maybe i need to be um investigating that situation i'll tell you something as well as well uh, i have been in conflab again with the people that provide those raised beds you know those metal raised beds that everyone's everyone's had some and uh, done reviews on them um yeah they've contacted me again uh, am i interested i'm not sure if i am or not um i don't think they're going to change my life but they might look really nice in the garden and uh, as i say if i'm doing a garden channel um yeah let me know shall i um shall i take their take their wares and talk about them um i guess they'll get two channels worth of promotion won't they um so yeah i'll have to have a think about the uh, watering situation um but yeah let, let me know what you think in the comments so i've spent the day well it's been such a lovely day i spent the day in the garden taking video footage and uh yeah taking photos and trying to work out what i should do with this new channel and uh, i took some well i took some I've, I've already got them on my laptop but i've been going through some uh, old before and after photos uh on my uh, on my laptop and it is quite an eye-opener. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to the idea of um, starting another channel and getting a new group of uh, viewers, if you like. I know you guys will probably have a little nosy as well. Um, yeah, any ideas that you think I should include in the channel? It's really strange, really strange. I've been kind of nervous. And I, was a lot, I felt like this before when I um, wanted to start the channel Nature's Keep. Yeah, I felt really awkward, like I was a new boy. Uh, it's really strange. I feel really comfortable talking on this channel with this camera in this field. But yeah, I just saw myself wandering around my garden today going, oh, I feel really awkward. So uh, yeah, anything you want to see in the channel, anything you want to see me talk about, yeah, put it down in the comments. Anyway, I leave it there. It's been a long, busy day. And uh, tomorrow, I think, if it's going to be raining, I think I need to get that loft insulation up in the loft. See you later. <laughs>